हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माई सेल पराग जाम्बुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट लूप स्ट्रक्चर इन अपेक्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो वी हैव सीन लूप स्ट्रक्चर कैन बी इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय यूजिंग फॉर वाइल और डू वाइल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी वन स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ फॉर लूप इट इज अवेलेबल इन सी प्लस प्लस लैंग्वेज इट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन जावा लैंग्वेज एंड इट कैन बी यूज इन अपेक्स लैंग्वेज नाउ सी इन वेरियस प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस इट इज कॉल्ड एज फॉर इच लूप रेन बेस्ड फॉर लूप एनहांस फॉर लूप एंड इन अपेक्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज मोस्टली वी यूज दिस टर्म लिस्ट आर सेट इट्रेशन फॉर लूप ऑल आर सेम नाउ सी वट इज द सिंटेक्स फॉर दिस लुक एट दिस सिंटेक्स फॉर फॉर इच लूप सो सी हियर फॉर राइट एंड इन राउंड ब्रैकेट वे हैव थ्री थिंग्स राइट सो इन राउंड ब्रैकेट वी हैव इनिशलाइजेशन कंडीशन and increment or decrement right normally we write this thing but in for each loop we have see we have variable colon here we can have array or we can have a list or we can have set here we can have statement like this so see here it can be any variable it can be integer it can be string variable then here we are using any array Our list are set in Apex programming language. Array and list they are treated as same internally. They are same, so we can use array. Also, we can use list. In this video, we'll see. We'll take one example from array. We'll take example from list, and similarly, we'll take one example from set. Let us see. So here I have opened Developer Console, and here I have opened one anonymous window. Now see, we'll write code. So we'll start with array. Now see. are we'll define one integer array. the square brackets will give some name so suppose i am giving my array now see new integer and here we'll put some values suppose we are putting values something like this 20 10 33 again 33 so i am repeating this numbers 33 then uh, one more we'll take 31 so here we are taking five numbers 20 10 33 33 31 okay now see we'll take one more array so this time we'll take string array we'll give some name so that str array is equal to new string string is data type in apex so already we have seen in our one of our previous video we will allocate some values so suppose we are taking a b c d and suppose i am taking e so we are taking five strings right a b c d e so i have taken five strings right now see how to write for loop so see for now see in this round bracket so in normal for loop we write initialization condition and increment and decrement right here what we have to do here our syntax is variable colon and our array right so we can have array we can have a list or we can have set now see we will take one variable integer i am giving name i now see colon and name of our array so suppose i am taking my array, my r and will print that value okay so what we'll do we'll add one statement system dot debug value of i is equal to plus Okay, so value of i will get printed on the screen. Okay, now see, so we are taking values from my i, right? So we should get twenty, ten, thirty-three, thirty-three, and thirty-one, right? We will execute this. Okay, so no compilation error. We will click on this checkbox, debug only. So look at this. We got this output. Value of i is equal to twenty, ten, thirty-three, thirty-three, thirty-one, right? Now see, ah. Uh, 
instead of now this integer, we will take string. Let us see. So, what we will do? We will make it string. And our array name was str array. str array. Right? Now, see, again we will execute. No compilation error. We click on this checkbox, debug only. And here you can see, we got this output. A, B, C, D, E. Right? So, in this way, our for each loop works. So, see how it works. So, see for this array. For A. So, see uh, I value. See, uh, in this case, str a double r, right? str array, it is array of type string, right? So, that's why we have to take string only. Because, see, we are taking one one value from this array. So, see, initially, in the beginning, I will be A. Then, I will be B. In next iteration, I will be C. In next iteration, I will be D. In next iteration, I will be E, right? So, likewise, for each value, this loop will run. Now, see, so here, we have tried with array. What we'll do? Now we'll try with list. We'll define one list. Now see how to define list. List. Now see we'll we have to mention data type. So suppose I am taking integer. We'll give some name my list is equal to new list. So again we have to mention type. So, see, here we are defining list of type integer. So, again, I am mentioning integer and here we will put some values. So, what we will do? Same values we will put. It is our choice. If you want, we can mention our different values. Now, see, here I am defining a list. I have given name my list and I have allocated with these values, right? 20, 10, 33, 33, 31. Okay. Now see. So here instead of array, we can put list name. So our list name is my list. Now see. We will run our code. Execute. Invalid loop variable type expected integer was string. Okay. So see. Our list is of type integer, right? But here we have mentioned string. So that will correct. So here we will mention integer. Again we will execute. Okay, so no compilation error. We have clicked on debug only. Mm -hmm. So we got this output 20, 10, 33, 33, 31. Right? Now see, again we will go to anonymous window. So this time we have taken list. In previous case, we have taken array. Right? Now see, again we will try with set. Set. So what we will do? We will define one set. Set. Again, we have to mention type. So, we will take integer only. Uh, my set, that is the name of the set that we have given. New set, again we have to mention type. So, integer. Okay. And what we will do? Same values we will give. I am purposefully giving same values. So, you will come to know what is the difference between list and set. So, see. For list also, we have taken these values. For set also, I am taking same values, right? Now see. So, integer, integer data type and our set name is my set. So, we will change it. We will make it my set. Okay. Now see. We will click on execute. So, no compilation error. We will select debug only. Now see. Look at this output. What output we got? 20, 10, 33, 31. See, if you observe this output, see, here we have repeated 33, right? So, when we have executed with array and list, so we got 5 results, right? We got 5 lines of results, right? 20, 10, 33, 33 and 31. So, 33 was repeated. But when we have taken set, so we got 4 values only. Why? Because 33, it was repeated. So, in set, it take only unique values, distinct values. So, this is the property of set. Keep in mind, this is the property of set. When we have duplicate values, set saves unique values only. Set saves unique values only. Suppose, say, here, what we will do? Here, if I make 31. Okay, so now 31 I am repeating. Let us see what will happen. Again, I will click on execute. We'll Take debug only. Now see what output we got 20, 10, 31, 33. So 31 was repeated, right? So what it has taken? 
it has taken first 31 it has neglected second 31 right it has taken first 31 so we got these values 20 10 31 33 as 31 was repeated it has neglected this 31 right so in this video we have seen how to define array also we have seen how to define list also we have seen how to define set what is the difference between list and set and how to use enhance for loop for array list and set so friends i hope you like this video if yes then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you